Good thing we got that shit early, right? Are we good now? I think we're good. Yes, we're good. Woo! Kane Castro, you're the man. Son of a buck. Dude, you know what? I'm having all kinds of fucking technical problems. I, I finally, I've been trying to use this goddamn GoPro session, um, but uh, I finally bought, it's under the tree though, because I it's from Santa, but I finally bought a fucking uh, GoPro Hero 9 black. And so we're going to step it up uh, lots of notches here from the webcam. Uh, so I, we'll, we'll look forward to that. Um, but uh, <clears throat> yeah, so uh, I w basically I was saying that this shit got lost in the mail and all that and uh, um, it's finally here. Um, got it secondhand on the Spider Co group uh, on Blade Forums or no Blade Forums fucking uh, Facebook and uh, this thing is so sweet. Honestly, uh, it sucks looking at the camera here and it I can't make it look cool. Honestly, it, like it is I'm going to have to do like a talking hands version of it. Once I have the GoPro um, all in action and stuff, I I have everything set up here um, where my computer is now where I, I'll be able to um, I've got lights set up underneath and everything. So like, I'll be able to hinge, uh, <clears throat> so I don't have to switch a B or whatever. I can just hinge a camera, the GoPro down to like talking hands. And I have a desk right here in front of me. Um, so it, it should be pretty sweet once Christmas rolls around and shit. But, uh, in the meantime, fuck man, like what, a, what a super sweet knife, honestly, like, I think this is probably the same coloration as the Never Summer edition. I don't know what the uh, I don't know what the blade steel is on the Never Summer one. I I think it's S thirty V, but it has like the cool Never Summer logo. And of course, Never Summer is a company that makes snowboards, uh, longboards, um, stuff like that. They're out of Denver, so it makes sense for Spiderco to do. Uh, exclusive uh collaboration i'm not sure what you would call it with never summer <clears throat> but dude yeah, like i mean i love the native five that's all there is to it and and uh um i've got i have had several of them and i right now i have four um native fives and it is and i'm looking at a bunch of other spider codes that i have here um in front of me and um i, I just I don't know. I, like, I like the Native Five so much, to be honest. Like that, I, I just think every <laughs> every other like, if you don't own a Native Five, you just don't have any business own, owning any Spider Codes. I don't know. I just. But what's funny is my buddy Jay Lee. Um, God bless my buddy Jay Lee. He doesn't like it, so he's like, I just can't get used to the Native Five, and he loves his Endura. I love the Endura too. The Endura is a fantastic knife. Um, but I just, I don't know. I love the lines of the, I, I guess when I say lines, I really love just that there's no fucking hump on the, so here's a Delica. This is actually, I bought this just to have a Delica, but um, my wife uh, wanted a different knife than her UKPK. So I was like, here, do you want this Delica? And she really likes it. So, but I, yeah, just the hump. That's, I think that's what it is for me. And I'm just like, <clears throat> every damn spider co has that fucking hump. And uh, it's just, not, it's definitely not my shit. That's for sure. Um, but uh, the native five is 100% my shit. I want, I should try out the native chief. I have a, I have this guy. I actually got this on my wedding day. Um, I think I've done a review on this knife. I bought this knife for my father-in-law um, for, a, you know, a thank you for spending a lot of money on, on uh, my wedding. And when it came in the mail, I was just like, I can't give him this little fucking knife, man. So like <clears throat> I gave him a, what it was brand new um, native five fluted carbon fiber with S90 V and he just fucking loves it. It's like, he just loves it. Um, like I said um, on Instagram the other day, 
Um, it looks like he's been sharpening it on the fucking sidewalk, but he fucking loves it. And that's, and that's, that's all that matters. Um, our beard um, this evening is bright as fuck. It's bright as fuck, isn't it? Um, it's backwards too for me. DDH 45 Oregon style IPA. So this beer, this brewery um, is uh, like a half a mile from me. Um, uh, Trinity, sorry, sorry, Trinity Brewing, Trinity Brewing here in Colorado Springs, and uh, uh, they're they're I don't know if they're new or if they're under new ownership, but it feels fresh when you're in there, which I guess is good and bad. But they have like fucking. I mean, a fuckload of beers on tap all the time, like 18, 20 beers, something like that. So if you're in the Colorado Springs area and you find yourself on Garden of the Gods, not the park Garden of the Gods, but the street Garden of the Gods, um, definitely go in there. It's a good spot. They're doing their best to get through this COVID shit. And uh, <laughs> outside seating and all this stuff. Man, I finally fucking broke down and bought a, a puffy hoodie jacket because I'm just like, God damn it. You know, you got to fucking sit outside and freeze your tits off to go get a beer. Cheers. Salute, everybody. So we fucking broke the bank on a goddamn Arcteryx uh, puffy, which means... No new what? No new knife for a couple weeks. That's for sure. Also, I'm fucking buying tooling out the ass for my uh, cheers. Nice man, Kane Castro. Cheers to you, buddy. Um, dude, I'm fucking tooling out the ass for my um, machining operation. Which I should also say. I'm, I'll just mention on this video. Um, I will be starting a new channel. Um, part of the purchase of this new uh, GoPro Hero Black, and I'm also getting uh, the, you know, fucking mod pack and adding a, a sweet mic, like shotgun mic to it and all that stuff. So I'm I'm gonna be doing like uh, uh, <clears throat> Tommy Puffy Jacket 160, dude. That fucking Arc'teryx is 375, which is a bitch. But I'm gonna be doing like a, a vlog. Do you say vlog or vlog? I don't know. I really don't know. I say vlog. Sometimes I hear people say vlog. I don't know exactly what you're supposed to say. Um, but I know I'm supposed to be talking about the Native 5 um, in general, uh, but also this fucking bad boy. Um, <clears throat> Native 5 is such a fucking goddamn awesome knife, man. Honestly, for the money, I know that I know that there's this fucking issue with people going let's we'll just do the the regular black <clears throat> frn native five just for just for spitballing but i know that people are like oh I, you know what fuck i don't even know what the native five costs let's say 140 bucks 140 I, I don't know that that's that is what it costs but but i think that's probably a pretty good guess um <clears throat> how much is a banana um but uh uh I know that people are like poo poo on the fucking FRN or it's actually FRCP like I put in the title. So fiber reinforced copolymer, which I don't know. People say there's, it, it's like harder to ding and scratch than FRN, but maybe not as strong if you like bend it, you know, it could break before um, bending. Expensive knife collection ended with ZT0561. Is that a hinderer collab? I don't know. I played with a bunch of those shits, and I just, uh, every fucking time, man, I just, usually I'll have like a, C, a fucking Chris Reeve in my pocket, and I look at like, so I actually have it, obviously, this double thumb lug small sabenta, which is the last video I did. Um, in my pocket. And and the thing is, man, like I just, I look at like the finishing, just little details, you know, and the handle and like the way the lock bar is finished and chamfered or not. Um, and I just, 
Very, very few frame locked folders are made as well as a Chris Reeve knife. And the ones that are made as well are fucking in the $700 range. That's the only thing. Like, <clears throat> that's the only thing I would say is, is I just, there's, it's, it's, it's much more than the big picture. I start like looking with a micro fucking detailing out the, the way the screws are implemented, the way the backspacer fits into the whole thing. And then all the little detailed things, 560, 561. No, I ha I've not reviewed, I've, man, my fucking, my ZT collection personally, selection at any given point has been extremely minimal. Like, I don't think I've ever done a review on a ZT. <laughs> And I can't even not remember the fucking ones that I have on, to be honest, son of a bitch. But I've just, I'm just not, I don't know. I just don't love them. As a matter of fact, KAI, the only knife that I have is this, was it the Launch 11? Which I still think is a fucking sweet ass knife. I, I don't ever carry it or use it or anything. Um, I, I probably should use it as like a giveaway or something like that. Boost my channel and shit or something. But that'd be fun. Maybe I should do a fucking giveaway. Um, I never thought about that. I have all these goddamn knives in my personal collection. And I'm just like, one day I'll have one of my idiot friends' friends stay with me. And they won't have a knife. And I'll give, give them my knife. But every fucking time that happens, I'm like, oh, this guy's an idiot. So he's not getting my fucking knife. <laughs> uh, plus, I'm a dickwad. <clears throat> on deck is uh, the what it is slow brewed Kolsch by the same brewery, Trinity Brewing. Um, old school 301 review. I fucking might have. God damn it. I know. I know. I've had a couple of ZTs. There was a there was a period for me where um, th those the dark those dark years, man. And fucking what was it like? probably like 2010 to 2014 somewhere in there 2010 to 2017 <laughs> somewhere there was some dark years there or whatever it was just years where i was like dude i you know i did a lot of cool shit i did a lot of fucking uh um soul searching and fucking uh uh studied hinduism made a shit ton of mushrooms <laughs> and also was 100% still into knives big big time you know the whole time but i but i i i didn't want to do bummer reviews and i just was like i ran into a lot of shit that i didn't want to fucking review i had a trevor burger that was just not fucking awesome for a 500 hundred dollar knife or whatever it was i had all kinds of stuff gold class bench maids uh, whatever just fucking goofy shit that i was just like I have very few good things to say about this knife. So, so I, I, uh, I didn't do reviews. Yeah. So also at the time I was, I was doing a, a lot of fixed blade knife carry. So, um, and I felt like the intricacies are just not there to, to just sit down, have a beer and fucking discuss a knife. I'm it's, it's, I'm going to try to do more of this kind of shit, but I just fuck, man. That's why I do the live shit. I'm, I don't want to edit videos. Um, <clears throat> like sitting there and hacking on a stick or whatever it is. Like I just, I, I'm not going to film that. And like, I, for some reason, I just, I don't know why. I know that that's fuck, man. Like uh, Cedric Ada or whatever outdoors, Cedric and Ada outdoors, whatever that guy's channel is the shit and like he fucking does all kinds of fun interactive stuff and uh i don't i just can't bring my fucking self to do it you know like i actually have recorded a couple of goofy things but I, every time i just sit down to fuck with it i'm just like yeah it's not gonna happen i'm actually considering my wife is starting um a youtube channel and she's actually paying someone to edit her videos right now and <clears throat> with the machining thing, I think I'm probably going to do that. Just film a bunch of shit. And sorry, I'm fucking with one of my synthesizers that has buttons sticking out of it. Sold my $500 SMF road order play. Play galore. Strider's bullshit. 
Uh... I don't know that Strider's bullshit. I, I will say, I don't fucking like... I belong to a lot of groups, right? And I know you guys do too. And the only thing about Strider for me that I don't like is the nonstop... It's been the same way since the inception of the company. I, remember, I still remember seeing the very first picture of fucking a crazy, you know, SNG or SMF, whatever. Like, I know it wasn't the AR. It was like... When that SNG or FMF, whichever SMF, whichever one of those was first, like seeing those pictures and just like, whoa! <clears throat> but it, dude, this the fucking <laughs> it, it just has a it has an icky feel to it. Like their groups, like they they, they just it's a it's, it is a circle jerk, and and it, and, it, and I just it it just doesn't feel as positive as like any other group, a Spider Co group, a Chris Reeve Knives group. Um, whatever it is, I, I don't know what it, what there is about it, or, but at this, but the knives, okay. Strider fixed blades are generally bullshit. Generally bull. Just like Chris Reed knives, fixed blades are generally bullshit. Like it's like, or a Randall, you know, knife. It's, it, it just doesn't have like physics working in its favor. Um, in any way, like, you know, metallurgy, uh, uh, grind, uh, the shape of the handle, those shrunken handles, you know, like, give me a fucking break. Um, or like a gunner grip finish is ridiculous. It's, it's fucking ridiculous. And, and you'll see, if you look back in my backlog of videos, I, I sanded down my, uh, gunner grips, um, that I ended up liking, but, uh, anyway, uh, <clears throat> I think the Strider folding knives are fucking awesome, and and uh, I know there's blade play. I know that I, I I totally understand how blade play develops in those shits, uh, but uh, <clears throat> I also I feel like what happens when the surfaces wear uh, is that you get like a, a flat enough plane where it's not like a wedge that. I don't think there's any danger of the shit like closing on you. And that's a, that is an interesting thing too, is, uh, I, right. I know, I know, like, I know, uh, I know. So blade play, right. That, 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 that's, that's something that I want. This is funny. It's supposed to be a fucking native five video, but a uh, blade play. Um, a fucking silky saw has blade play, you know, like, uh, or, or, or there's good shit. There's good shit that has awesome locking mech, not awesome, but functional, uh, locking mechanisms that, uh, I don't know. Like I think the whole knife community and in, in, including the whole world, like needs to get past the fucking Nick Shabazz, not to bash Nick Shabazz. He's fine. Um, but needs to get past, the, look at it and then say Nick <clears throat> needs to get past the fucking Nick Shabazz viewpoint on knives. This finicky, like, you know, th there are details that are important and blade play. It just is not one of those details. That is a fucking fall shuddy fucking action kind of detail. It just, it's just not, it's not fucking important. I mean, uh, as a matter of fact, like uh, fucking every single knife mechanism is one hundred percent going to develop uh, blade play if it if it's used uh, if it, if the locks engaged and disengaged a lot. No, I know, I know, I know, and and and. and <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I guess maybe I'd have to draw a picture of like at least the way that I see like a lock. So I guess here one thing is obviously we, every, we all know this. The the earlier the lockup um, and the more travel that can can happen uh, and the way that the light the lockup is designed, you can have as long as you have like enough spring tension that it's can can travel a long distance as wear happens 
but not so much spring tension that it's a pain in the ass to use the fucking knife. Um, you can have a super long life lock. Also, the blur is a fucking great knife. Jesus Christ. I was going to say it's an overlooked knife, but it's obviously not an overlooked knife. They sell them at fucking Walmart. Imagine how many blurs they've fucking sold. No, I haven't done a Kershaw blur review. I've not even owned a blur, but I did give, I bought one from my best friend many moons ago. And I played with it like for the weekend before I gave it to him. Obviously, who doesn't fucking do that? It's funny. It's like, it's not like you're going to buy a camera for someone and fucking play with the camera or whatever, but maybe people do do that. Camera people do that. <clears throat> no, the blur is a fucking great knife. I should do a blur review. I actually, I, I really do love the blur. Um, still, only Kershaw I have is the Launch 11, and the Launch 11 is fucking fantastic. I would say, um, all the blurs are cool. Um, I would say if you guys have never owned a fucking Launch 11, definitely get a Launch 11. It is, but not before buying a goddamn Spider Cone Native 5. Is that what we're supposed to be talking about here? Is the Spider Cone? This is specifically blah, 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 this fucking red and black beauty. I don't know if, I guess they come with this shit. This is what mine came with. Mine came with. This shit and also a sticker, a Saint Nick's knives sticker. Um, I got mine secondhand. I'm glad this guy did this because I I do this if I um because I don't fucking use stickers. I don't I don't do anything with stickers uh, generally. Uh, so if if I buy some shit that comes with the sticker, I usually keep it in the fucking box. And that way, if or when I fucking flip that bitch. Usually for a loss, because I usually use my shit, I'll have the fucking sticker. Whether it's whether it makes me money or not, it's a cool thing to fucking pass on to the next dude or lady, lady person. Um, man, what it's a bummer that this thing is fucking limited uh, or exclusive or whatever. Sorry about that, everybody. Um, luckily, I just dropped it on my maple desk here. Nothing to see here folks but it's a bummer that this fucking thing is exclusive or uh, uh limited in numbers i guess you should say because it is fucking sweet i mean i don't even know what to say that like <clears throat> even comparing it to the only fancy uh native five i have right now uh as far as fancy fancier than like your average frn Native 5 would be this G10 linerless um, version, which is, it's sexy as fuck. It feels great. Um, my buddy, Aaron, uh, was asking me the other day, because I, I scored him a uh, used, actually just pre-owned, not really used, uh, Native 5 G10 off of Blade Forms. I, was, I just texted him one day. I was like, hey, man, this is a fucking... Awesome Native 5 G10 from a totally reputable guy on, that I can buy for, it was like 90, 90 something dollars, $90. Do you want it? And he was like, yep. And uh, he was asking me like about the difference between G10 and FRN. And, and, and I, surely if you if you take like say a quarter inch stock of uh, G10 and a quarter inch just thick, no fucking volcano grips or any of this shit um, and flexed it and bent it or whatever the fuck you might do to a knife scale, I would assume that G10 is going to be the victor. Surely it's going to be the victor in a, in a manner of like, oh, fuck, who knows? Yeah, but I would assume it's going to be the victor. That said, though, it... <laughs> What are you gonna do with this fucking knife that's gonna do that? Honestly, I I uh, I'm I, I'm almost positive I've done native five lightweight reviews, if not if not more than one, uh, and gross, so gross. Oh, you're you're uh oh the OG native dude. I fucking love the OG native. It was my very first uh, YouTube review. And the only reason I even did a YouTube review is because I 
wanted to gush so much about it that I was like, I can't fucking type all this. So literally I was like, I'll, uh, I'll go on YouTube and, and talk about it instead. Let me read some comments here. I don't think there's a slip joint native five, uh, but I do think they were going to do a slip joint um, lil native. I have the compression lock version only because I think it's sexier than the back lock version because it has less screws and hardware and shit. Or maybe it has a different clip. I forget. <clears throat> um, bummer about so. All right. So the native five. Five lightweight is fucking awesome, and I, I only I lost my native. I guess it's four, whatever the one before the five was. I lost that shit. I think in the Arkansas River, which took some other knives from me as well. Also took a large regular double. Was that a double? I think it was a double. Yeah, a double um, lug, large sabenza. From Uncle Archman, which that'll happen. At least it didn't take my life, which it definitely takes plenty of those. So, uh, <clears throat> but so this knife here, um, this actually is a, was a Christmas knife, Christmas gift to myself in twenty Christmas twenty fifteen. Wow, five years ago. So Christmas twenty fifteen, I was living in the Virgin Islands. No big deal, and I've. Uh, flew with no uh, checked luggage to my now wife's parents' house to spend Christmas with them. And I just like bought this knife off of like knifecenter.com and had it mailed to their house. So I'd have a Christmas knife, you know, a knife while I was away at Christmas. And I got there and I, I kind of was like, oh, maybe I'll just like give it to her dad or something like that. And I got there and I, got this knife and I just was like, holy shit, like this is a cool knife. Um, and uh, I mean, I just really love FR FR and it, I, I personally have a soft spot for it because I remember when the shit first came out, right? I'm 43 years old. Today's uh, December 18th, 2020. And I remember my buddy's very first, uh, his dad was a knife collector and I remember his uh, Delica back in the day. And I knew that all his dad's signs were very fancy. And like, I remember his dad like talking about, no, this is really cool. Like it's this fucking polymer where they actually have glass fibers mixed in with the resin and the slurry of fucking uh, nylon and stuff. And it actually is really, really good stuff. And that was one of the old school natives or natives, uh, Delicas. Um and so even back then, I was like, oh, it's the shit, you know? And then I, I started getting into shooting and, you know, like building out fucking SKSs and all that shit with fucking FRN parts. And then Glock comes along and Magpul comes along. And like, you know, so I've always just been like, oh, it's the shit, you know? Um, December 19th, LOL, drunk again. I've actually only had two beers, thank you very much. Um no, that's actually not true. I had a te uh, I, I spiked a glass of tea with some tequila and then had a beer. And then this is number three. So um, going back to the cr uh, Christmas. So I really loved the fucking knife. And at the time I uh, was... Uh, guiding uh, snorkeling and sea kayaking trips and the knife that I was using swimming every single day with uh, in that fucking very salty Caribbean uh, sea was a hinder and CPM 20 CV and uh, um, which I just clean the shit out of it every single day. Didn't disassemble it or anything, but I just clean the shit out of it every single day with a toothbrush and whatnot. Um, <clears throat> just to fucking do it. And uh, so I was like, I'm keeping the fucking native five and I'm going to make that knife my, uh, my, my snorkeling knife. So this knife right here has been in the Caribbean sea, just super salty salt water snorkeling hours on end. Uh, 
fucking a lot, a hundred days, like, like a lot of days. Um, and uh, again, so when it would develop little, very faint rest spots on it. And what I would do is I would, after I went in, uh, got out of the, uh, off my trip and, you know, got my gratuity and all that stuff. And my guests left as I would just go grab a stick. It's fucking crazy jungle in the Caribbean. I'm saying, John, it's like scrape off any little rest spots or rinse it off with fucking fresh water and, uh, be on my way. So I use this knife to like open coconuts and prepare there's fruits and uh, fucking uh, grown all over. Tight tolerances, tight tolerances. So tight tolerances, that's a, <clears throat> yeah, sure. I, the, the, it's variable. The tolerances vary because um, I guess the material is flexible. Um, it, it, uh, it's functional. So here's one thing about the uh, this native five. I don't know if you can see this, but see how the uh, the lock bar here is kind of, it looks worse than it is um, actually on camera here. Uh, it's actually, because it's like springs down in here to go to lock up, it, 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 it is wearing in. And this is raising up more and more. Um, eventually, I guess it probably will develop some loss and blade play, but I, I don't think it will ever be a problem if it does develop blade play. Um, but this knife has just blown me away. Oh, well. Native three, all painted construction features in play. Try a new one. But I moved on. I, pff, dude, tell me about it. Like, I, I mean, the, for me, at least, you know, it would be really, really hard for Spyderco to, to make a new knife that I really love, unless it was like a US made, like budget knife or whatever, which that's why I got this thing. Cause I was like, that, that's fucking sexy. And, uh, I, dude, it is, man. I mean, for 150, for, I think I paid 140 bucks for this knife. It is, it is dead sexy. I like, I don't know. I know that it, I know that it look. You can't. It doesn't look that sexy on this washed out fucking light, and the. But this thing is fucking awesome. Um, it like I said, it's a bummer that this isn't just like one of the regular options because it is fucking it is the shit like if out of my four natives that i have sitting in in front of me there's no way i would choose one other than this no way except for given that like this this one is back when they were s35 vn which i think it sucks dick that they're s30v again but um because s35 vn is i know that the all the fucking data and everything you read and graphs and all that stuff don't show it as being more rust resistant than S30V, but it is way more rust resistant than S30V. When you're really in the shit, looks like a gas station there. Three. It doesn't, dude. I, like that's why. I, that's why I'm saying like it. It. Uh, I, I, you know what? I'm, I'm looking at the fucking same screen you're looking at. I'm pretty sure. And I could see where someone say, yeah, that looks like a gas station knife, but it, it fucking doesn't man. Like the red is, uh, it's different than it looks on the screen. It's a deep, it's a really deep, like, it's not like maroon or burgundy, but it is dude. It, it is a fucking sexy red. And then CPM four V two. Come on. That's a fantastic fucking seal. It, this is my only piece of CPM 4V, but as far as like what I understand about that steel, it, it, it's a it's a top 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 notch steel. As long as I uh, sold mine three spider codes at the time. No, dude, I get it. Like I, <clears throat> so look, like uh, say, say say like a a, a paramilitary two man, I am paramilitary to out. Obviously everybody is, you know, like, uh, it, it's, a. Uh, 
Yeah. No, I, I get it. Sp spider codes are there. There's, it, it's not an enthu unless you're just a steel junkie or a collector. Like I must have all of the every single edition of uh, Paramilitary Two, um, or I must, or, or I, or I just, I, I, I really love playing with steel. Like that's a spider co guy, you know. Like, but it, but somebody who's like really in the hobby and really like um it just wants to have the the best gear and like really wants to spend their time um learning and enjoying the 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 what makes like machining um different from one another or, like why things are made a certain way or better or or what like you can move beyond spider go pretty quickly um fran looks cheap but it's not though. See, I was talking to somebody about that the other day, actually, and I was like, "That's a, that's a matter of perspective." So when when you think about perspective, it's really important to understand that that means from your location and with the knowledge that you have. It's not even it's not even that. It's more just like from your location. Uh, and, and using your senses. But the thing is with technology, uh, your senses can be tricked and, and uh, you can, you just have to either play with it and understand, or I guess miss out. I don't really know exactly what, what, what to, exactly to say, but the truth is this fucking knife I gave zero fucks about this knife, except I was like, oh, it's a sexy, it's a sexy little beater spider co. Dude, like I'm telling you, man, like I use the fuck out of it. I was like, let's let's see if it'll break uh right here across where the hole is. And I mean, I I pried and not, obviously like wasn't like I'm going to break it and see what happens. I'm just like, let's see if it could do this. Let's see if it can if, if I can like get in the crack of a coconut and fucking open it up. I mean, I was just using the, the, the tool but at the same time. I was like, I don't care if it breaks. I'm not going to try to break it. And it, I'm telling you, man, it fucking blew me away. Like, I mean, this, this, the native five really blew me away. All right, hold on. You guys are coming in thick and fast, which is just fucking awesome. Fuck Civivi and the Civivi balls. Civivi can eat my dick. Honestly, I'm fucking sick and tired of seeing their shit coming out. Every goddamn time you look at a fucking uh, knife, knife shop's inventory, it's fucking eight goddamn Civivi knives once a month. Spider Coast strength is they have so many knives for everyone. They have a lot of strengths, man. Fuck Luke. Holy shit. Luke Panez on here. God damn. I can't believe it. Dude, that's awesome. Luke's a person I know in, in real life. Dude, that's fucking, that's the shit. That's amazing. Let's see. Endura Delica. FRN, Spyderco's FRN is solid. Well, also Spyderco's FRN, they do the formula themselves. So like it's different than like Norrell GTX or, or uh, any other company. It's not G10. It's G11. <laughs> no. <laughs> But it's something like that, you know. I mean, they, they that's what they fucking that's how they spout it. The military, the military is <clears throat> it's the spider co. Honestly, like when you look at the build of the of uh a knife, the spider co military is it has so much like meat in the tang, um, as far as like the blade tang wrapping around the <clears throat> in and around the handle. I wish they put bigger washes in there, though. Although they're, they're those are pretty fucking stout. Let's see. Same as in the same as in the paramilitary. 
let's see what we've got here. G10 native. So I have the LC200 N native, uh, which is fucking awesome. Uh, dude, I get it with the, the uh, classic. I mean, this yellow is... It, honestly, you can't carry a fucking more lame knife. This is my banana knife. I only use it for bananas. Uh, this knife lives in my PFD, personal flotation device. Um, I just have it out here um, because I was talking about the native fives. So, um, dude, the G uh, so th that's my number one thing about the G10 native is like it feels like a, a premium knife. You know, it, it's definitely weightier. You know, it has a full um, uh, backspacer. But if you take apart this, the native uh, uh, <clears throat> FRN, it's really cool the way that it kind of clicks together, um, like Legos kind of. Like it's not just sandwiched together like your average knife. This knife is more sandwiched together, honestly, than the fucking native five is. And the native four is one piece. So the native four is it could be arguably uh, even better knife than the native five art. It's arguable. It's not hundred percent, but my native four fucking blew me away. I just can't believe it. I bought it for 50, 60 bucks, something like that at Walmart. And it was just like, Oh my God, this is a fucking great knife. I've got to do a YouTube review about it. Um, but yeah, so that's, that's, uh, that's the number one thing is the, the fucking G10, it's fucking James Bond sexy. Like this is a fucking kayak guides knife. And this is fucking James Bond's knife. There's no comparison as far as like just overall feeling the hand. Plus I fucking hate the, I really hate is a strong word. I don't hate it. I don't like this fucking clip. Uh, I just don't like it. It's nice that, uh, I also don't like this clip, but it's nice that you can get a decent clip uh, for it. The fucking Spyderco, Jesus Christ. Like they, Spyderco is stuck in 1992 with their clips and so is Benchmade. Like they throw this fucking bullshit, fucking the stupidest deep carry clip you've ever seen on there and go like, oh, it's an upgrade. Like fuck you in the balls. Like quit doing fucking three screw clips. This is fucking 2020 in a good way, finally, because we've fucking gone beyond the fucking three screw clip for God's sake, Jesus Christ. Like, it's just, it's unacceptable. Even the wire clips, good enough, fine. But the only fucking shit that we should be seeing anymore, uh, worst case scenario is like a nested clip, like uh, is a regular clip that's on a Sabenza. You don't fucking, yeah, I just, the three screw clip shit is just like, it blows my mind. You know, it, it blows my mind that people are still doing that. Who knows? I'm buying a fucking awesome milling machine. Maybe when I go to mill <laughs> my first knife, I'm going to be like, well, it's a lot easier if you throw three screws on there than if you mill them. Like, <laughs> who knows? I might fucking, I, I don't know. <laughs> Let's see here. 300 at a time military hardware screws felt flimsy. Yeah, was it the fucking, was it the military before they went with the bigger screws and the shouldered stop pin and all that shit? Because this is, they could obviously do better, but like this is, this is the shit. Like I, if I owned a reg, an older military when I bought this, I would have sold it just like that to some nostalgic uh, dork. I mean, you know, for, God love you, dork. Um, but I would have sold it to somebody and bought the new shit because it's fucking better. Um, but yeah, there's no fucking... The hardware on a military doesn't equal anything close to a titanium handle. So that's why I've always just been like, no. like Because it's... Why would you... It's like tacked together. Why would you have titanium handles on there? <clears throat> There's no reason to do it. I guess I could see it if you're like 
using the knife in a situation where like you ride a horse and the, while you're riding the horse, there's a rope that goes across your or something. And, uh, it's going to wear down quicker if it's G10 or something, something like that. I guess I could see, but if we're just like throwing it in your pocket for an EDC, let's see, you could offer don't trust their FRN stuff. Oh man, dude, you, like trust the FRN stuff. Just trust it. Just do it. Like it's, it's, it is the shit. Here's a fucking cool little FRN um, spider co. This baby I bought to go to fucking Medellin, Colombia, son. And uh, it did me real, real good when I was there. Uh, that's FRN. It feels fucking, I'm telling you, it feels great. Once you get used to it, you just got to, you got to release the mind fuck. Because the the whole, uh, the whole uh, associating FRN with uh, crap, you know, just sh a, a shitty product is, it, it really is just like not letting your brain evolve with technology. Like you're, 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 you got, you just got to shut it off. And the best way to shut it off is by fucking testing it. And I'm not saying buy a bird knife and test it. I don't know what the fucking bird knife is. I'm saying buy, I'm not trying to sell anything, but like, I'm just saying if you buy a fucking FRN native lightweight, native five lightweight, like, and you really put it through, don't just like open it and go, ah, it's not for me. Bummer. I'm going to take a $20 loss and fucking flip this. Like, no, use the fuck out of it. And if you don't like it, take a $30 loss. Worst case scenario, you know, like that, that's, that's what I would say. Hold on. I'm just going to read a couple of comments here. Didn't trust the time mail compared to competitors. Yeah. Well, what competitors? I don't think there's anybody that really can honestly compete with the military. As long as you're talking about like the newer version, Benchmade can't do it. I mean, unless you're talking about a three, four hundred dollar knife, and unless or you could be talking about a fucking CVV. In that case, I don't fucking care. Not to be a shithead, but I just I don't care. Uh, pair of three is too small. That's for sure, and plus it's gay. Honestly, the wire, the wire clip is the shit, obviously. The first tie version. Yeah, man, I was really the first, that first time fucking military. I just was like, that's a fucking Shabazz knife right there, son. <laughs> that's what it is. I'm sorry, but like, uh, <clears throat> You like you can just deduce what find the weakest link and and I'll, I'll be honest with you, man. Like if you look at a spider co and you look for the weakest link, I think it's always going to be in the blade. Like it it because fr this this thing is super washed out. So let's go let's go to the fucking knife of the day right here. Um, it, I think it's always going to be in the blade, man, because like. I'm telling you, I've tested the fuck out of the, the handle of this guy. I broke the clip just fucking around with it. <clears throat> um, and I think it's it's always going to be the, the hole in the blade. So, which sucks because, like, you don't have to have a fucking giant hole in the blade. You could have a thumb stud, like fucking God and everybody else, or no thumb stud, like a dedicated flipper knife or something like this. A lot of fucking flippers, though, have the whole that crazy ass fucking captive uh stop pin shit going on which is just really fucking stupid hold on sorry i'm gonna read some comments here damn the lanyard holes why do you carry cheap easy to produce what up yo just got my submins of 21 oh shit son Oh, 31. Large. My card. Well, so I just opened up my other beer. I can understand Spyderco products if you're on a sailboat in salt water. Oh, fuck, dude. Come on. Yeah, somebody on the other, somebody the other day what posted, you know, about salt water knives on blade forums, like the general discussion or whatever, which is, you guys are all on blade forums, I'm sure, and like, 
Dude, man, it's you got to be just like a buddy to fucking post on the general discussions, don't you? <laughs> like, I mean, it was like, uh, good Samaritan for the day. <clears throat> but I mean, it's like, for fuck's sake, obviously, yeah, buy a fucking waterway or buy a, uh, what's the siren? Or the, I, so I don't have either one of those. I have this knife. And before that, I had this knife. I had a uh, fucking Pacific Salt. <clears throat> I would love to get a waterway or a siren, but I, the siren is just too ugly for me, and I don't fucking need it because I have this. I need another fucking Sabenza before I need a goddamn siren. Look at that. That's a 12-ounce beer and a 10-ounce mug or cup. That's a Kolsch with a splash of IPA. Just got my, let's see if I can understand. Oh, so, sorry. I thought there was more. I've got like a weird arrow here. All right. Yeah, boys. The fucking Spider Co. It feels so good, too. Like, when I just pick this thing up, I'm just like, man. I, I think the the lightweight, the native lightweight has a, just a perfect feel to it. I'm not going to carry this knife. This knife I only bought just because I saw it on that uh, uh, Spider Co. group on, on uh, Facebook, and I just was like, I got to check that fucking thing out. Because it, like I said, it looks, it's so similar to the Never Summer. Man, this light is totally blowing it out, though. Like, I mean, it, it's like this, it's this deep, so that's a pretty good representation of it. Like if you, and it looks exactly the same as I do that. I'm gonna do this. That's how it looks. It looks just like this, guys. Just like that, son, boy. God damn it. <clears throat> this is fucking funny. But, you know, fuck man. Uh, what's the competition for the, for the fucking Native Five? The Griptilian, for God's sakes. P Dude, you know what's funny is I I have people all the fucking time. The Griptilian is the number one knife. I'll, I'll, always, every single time. I've had, uh, probably like a month ago, somebody, uh, I was at, damn it, I can't remember the name of it. I was at a hot this hot dog stand. Uh, not a hot dog stand, but it's a hot dog place here in the Springs. And... Uh, a guy asked me, oh, are you, what would you carry in, bro, is what he said. And I was like, I thought he was thinking I had a firearm on me, which we don't know if that happens or not. Uh, and uh, I was like, that's a Sabenza. And he was like, oh, I thought it was a Spyderco. Is that a Spyderco? And I was like, no, a Sabenza is a, is a Chris Reeve knife. And... Uh, He uh, he had a Griptilian, and every, just everybody has a fucking Griptilian. If you like, how many times do you recognize the Griptilian, the the, the Benchmade uh, logo? Benchmade does such a great job with their fucking marketing. <clears throat> they are the fucking geniuses. Good for them too, for God's sakes. I mean, it's not like Benchmade makes a shitty knife. They don't make a shitty knife. Every fucking time I go into a goddamn knife store, shit, I almost bought the goddamn REI, the green uh, fucking 940 the other day. So I was like, that green is fucking sexy. Same green as this guy. Very similar. G10 um, green. But I've only had the one 940. I, I had the, you know, the green handled fucking Benchmade 940. Or is it the 941? Fuck, I don't even know. Let's see. <clears throat> I can understand Spyderco products. You're in a sailboat in water. Oh, how many axe springs? This one, I broke both of these springs on this one. Luke Pineo, you carry a fucking griptilian. That's right. I think you're going to say that. Maybe. Maybe people fucking like this, the three fucking screws. I don't like the three screws. 
Maybe that was cool at some point. Maybe somebody was like, they take the time and effort to put not one, not two, but three fucking screws in this clip. <laughs> you know, like maybe that's what it was. Oh, for fuck's sake. <clears throat> yeah, the fucking wire spray. What a bitch. That's fucking funny. <clears throat> yeah, this, my fucking, my shit here is, I've had, I don't, ever carry this knife but i have the core like you know guitar strings are wound the thicker strings are wound um this is uh i don't know the gauge it's like a so when you buy guitar strings usually the the it's like these are 13s or whatever that's the smallest string and so i use 13s on an acoustic guitar and uh i made these springs out of the core of the thick e wound string of an acoustic guitar string so i fucking wound it all up yeah the cf version is obviously the best 940 surely surely that's the case if you're gonna buy one as long as you love sharpening if you love sharpening you're fucking good to go you can or i guess you could just touch it up all the time my one and only, is that true? My one and only S90V knife that I actually used, which I used the fuck out of it. I actually mowed the lawn with this motherfucker. Like literally <laughs> when I first moved into the 248 ghost town in Terlingua, the whole fucking area was growing up with like four foot tall grass everywhere. And I fucking mowed that shit all down with a fucking S90V military. And, uh, <clears throat> I uh, sharpened the fuck out of it. I sharpened it all the time because I was like super scared that it that I was gonna let it get too dull. So literally, I sharp. If I used it, I sharpened it every single time. The anthem's cool. The anthem is fucking cool, man. Honestly, I, uh, I almost bought an anthem when I bought the um, the last a uh, couple of benzes that I bought. Uh, I bought I bought that rhino and the. Uh, what was it the fucking bog oak? I was like, should I buy a fucking anthem in an '87? I was like, because I mean, dude, you know, if there's one fucking bench made out there that is like the bomb, it's the fucking '87. And I think he maybe the days are numbering on the '87, but they still they wanted like fucking five hundred bucks for that fucking thing, and I was just like, I know it's awesome, but I can get I. I you know, I got the fucking Rhino for 500 bucks. Let's see. Whoa. You guys are coming in hot and heavy. It's held up for the past eight months of use. Lock spring is not your traditional mega spring. No, the Anthem has a coil spring, which is pretty sweet. And it's like on like a pin. So it's like kind of wrapped around a pin, which is pretty fucking cool. Unless I guess you get it gunky as fuck. Pair two is a fine knife. I have no problems with a pair two. If someone wants a sexy knife and they're not like loaning it out to idiots, then a fucking pair two is a fine knife for sure. <clears throat> Spider Co. I mean, Spider Co. crushes it. The way they fucking do the ramp of their, uh, and a lot of companies are doing it similarly um, these days, but the way they do the fucking ramp, um, <clears throat> of their lockup, like the way the the lock and the, the the lock bar and the blade tang interface, that curve that they have there is is right on. I mean, it's like it's 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 the curve, you know. Like like we were talking about Strider earlier. Strider tried tried like a curve, but they 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 fucked up their curve. I don't exactly know, obviously, how they what they fucked it up because you look at a Spider Co fucking the curve on a Spider Co lockup. God damn, it's very curvy, isn't it? Um, <laughs> I don't know. I guess you just have to get it just right so you don't end up having blade play. But uh, hold on, let's see here. Anthem, two is green. Dude, the blade, honestly, that's why I don't fucking have a 940. Every 
every single time I look at a fucking Benchmade 940, I'm like, what is this? Like a fucking S wing hatchet or something here? This is like a this is garbage, you know. Like the the grinds are just dog shit. I mean, it's like they're it's like Benchmade's only focus, unless you buy um, a hollow ground um, Benchmade. It's like their their only focus is just like let's make sure that shit doesn't break and come back in a warranty. You know, like just this, uh, you know, uh, it's it. it uh, Benchmades are not knife enthusiast knives. A Spyderco is far more of a knife enthusiast knife, in my opinion, than a Benchmade is. A Benchmade is a a curvy shit enthusiast knife. You know, it's like, oh, it's round, uh, round in places and curvy in places, and that's good. Let's see. Uh, touch up off on strop. You got to strap the shit out of that S90V. Why? Let's see. All right. I got my cursor in the way. Now that I said I will never buy another Benjamin, I'm interested in the 940 Auto. LOL. I'm sure the 940 Auto is the shit, but um, if you're going to buy a 940 Auto, my recommendation is to first look at the Kershaw Launch 11 because... This is a fucking cool knife, man. And, and there's a lot of similarities between the two. And this thing is made in Oregon, too. These bitches are made, like, right across the street from each other. And I'm pretty sure this thing is probably half the price of that fucking bench made. Um, and it is the shit. Honestly, like, from Uncle Archman, um, I, I don't think i could give this higher marks like uh, the the kershaw launch 11 it is uh for the money uh and i think these are like 100 bucks i bought this at a my local knife shop in salida i was in salida so i i paid a lot more than um what you can get it for online but dude uh i i, I can't recommend this knife enough the everything about it the lockup, the action, the fucking blade grind is perfect, perfect on this one. I mean, god damn, there's no way. There's no way a, a, 9, a Benchmade 940 auto can is going to compete with this. Order both and fucking send back the auto or the 940 once you see it. Um, but, I mean, the blade steel on this is CPM 154, not 154 CM. Um don't let the fucking knife dorkness in you go, whatever the fuck the Benchmade is. What is the S30V? Maybe it's CTS 204P or some shit like that. But like, don't go crazy on the steel. Go crazy on the mechanism. Go crazy on the fucking country of origin. Uh, uh, warranty, reputation, um, you know, fucking break down the way it's built you know all those things but definitely look at the launch 11 before you think about that 940 auto oh shit okay i'm just gonna go carbon oh fuck man i'm gonna look i'm looking at uh there's a bunch of comments here hugs are sharpest out of the box no joke to me, a Hogue felt like a handle that was made out of a broken ashtray, glass ashtray. It was terrible. I didn't love it. Do, do, do. $150 native every time. Dude, every time. 10 out of 10 times. There's no fucking way. If I lost all my knives and I was considering buying another Spyderco, I would not buy the... PM2. So again, also it, it, this is a this is it's, it's part of being the community. We're all influenced by by people, but the fidgety fucking aspect of knives is it, it's it, it it's one person's opinion of what is a satisfying thing to fidget with. Fall shuddiness, you know, an easy thing to open and close quickly. Uh I don't think that 100% is a 
you know, pleasurable. It's just one person's version of pleasurable that we've all been fucking uh, convinced is fucking pleasurable. So it's, it's, <clears throat> I really feel like as long as you can just appreciate it, you know, like, eat, like you open the knife, you flip it around, you stick your index finger in there, flip it back around and close it. It's just an action. You know, I mean, like it's, it's a, it's a, it's different. But to me, it's a beautiful action. Like, I really like the lockback action. It's no, you know, I'm a person who is uh, constantly working with my hands and I'm constantly working with materials, right? So it's not like I'm just opening my knife and cutting something. I'm opening my knife, holding something and cutting it, right? So it's pretty important for me to be able to do that in a timely manner. And it's important for me to be able to do that um, with one hand, right? So uh, that's one thing I've kind of discovered about my impinda is like, it's like, mm, there's been plenty of times I've carried that knife that I've opened it, I've, I've taken it out of my hand and been like, shit, like, like I'll take this thing out of my hand and be like, fuck, now I have to put this down, open my knife, pick it back up and cut it. You know, the, <clears throat> the Native 5 or a, a lockback knife yeah, it's not a fucking, you know, whipper dipper fucking flipper or whatever like it, but it, but it's, but it is a one handed knife like through and through. It's just, it's just different, you know, like, so to be able to like open it, use the knife and get used to the cool like ways of doing it. It's fun. Like I, I, I think it's fun. So it's just different. It's, it's a, it's a whole new kind of appreciation. Let's see. Never broken a mega string yet. <laughs> I know you, you always say that, which is funny. I don't, I, like, I didn't fucking try to break an Omega spring. I just did break one. And then when I took it apart, I broke the other one taking it apart, I think is what happened. I do have my Carter Sabenza Walt. Trade right here, boy. And I, well, actually, I also have a micarta uh, in Kosi, but it's at my mark. My carta in Kosi is in my man bag upstairs. Nah, man, I fucking love this knife. This is a fantastic knife. The only thing that I don't, the only thing that I love more about the the PJs is I think the PJs are sexier. That's all. I think the P, I like the PJ because it's just so simple and minimal. Um, in hand. I was actually just doing this last night. It's like, do I like the micarta better? The only thing that I like about the micarta is it is immediately warmer in the hand, right? Because it's just like, it's an insulator. Micarta was literally invented to be an insulator. <clears throat> and it is an insulator. So that's the only thing. Um, and that, And these are very comparable because they're both double lugs which is my shit i've discovered is definitely my shit oh no walter williams are you drinking too buddy you retracted your message how dare you sir i don't get to retract my what i say my goofy shit. That's that's probably my favorite. That's what my wife always says. How how could you do these live videos? I just can't believe it. I'm like, I'm just like, and I'm working on a cool buzz while I do it too. Banana. Let's see. You know I've uh so Sandnat says uh, <clears throat> how's the snap compared to a Protec? I've played with a bunch of Protex. My local. Castlegate Knives, who I recommend big time. It's a great fucking knife store. Um, <clears throat> couldn't recommend them enough. Uh, as much as I could recommend any knife knife dealer, I would recommend Castlegate Knives. But they, they have a fuck ton of Protex. Uh, a fuck ton. Man, I did a shop tour. I, I, see, I'm so bad at fucking editing videos, and like I, I can only do the live stuff. 
but uh, I, that's going to have to change um, soon. I might, like I said, I might end up getting an editor. I don't fucking know, but uh, for business shit, maybe not for this channel, but for my other channel, I'm definitely considering it. Um, nice guy machine, which is going to be my new channel. But uh, I, I think it's just as good, man. I mean, it, it's, it is fucking fantastic. I, the, I, I, so I didn't compare it with a ProTech, but he had some LUDTs in there, some Microtech LUDTs. And uh, I was comparing one of the launch knives. I think it's the new one. The one that looks like an alien fucking knife. It's like, a, maybe it's the 13. I don't know what it is. But I was like, fuck, dude. Like the Kershaw is for one third the price and still made in America. Like I, I, I was just like, dude, uh, it, these are the shit. And it's, it's not like it's a OS eight or something like it's CPM 154 fantastic steel. I will always urge people to just go back to the fucking old days. Like go with your gut, go with like your, understanding of like a company and like before you go just with oh it, uh, it's s90v or oh it's a cpm 20 cv or whatever it is like that's got to be good you know it's like we it's we've been shown that that doesn't matter all that much like you look at those i mean that's the thing is like you look at all these fucking civivi knives or whatever that are coming out D who knows if that even is S thirty five VN? You know, I I don't know, I don't know. This is where I should be able to redact what I say, but I vote pair of two. I like the pair of two, huh? I definitely say fucking native five ten out of ten times, ten out of ten. Only because like. Fuck man, the only reason people like pair twos is because it's a fidgety. It's a it's a it's a fucking who knows? Who knows what it is? It's it's not. Good night, Kane. I'm sure you're already gone. Sorry, I'm fucking I'm not able to keep up with this shit. I keep fucking spouting off. Let's see. Maybe closer to PT or S and G. Uh I don't know if you're still here or not, my man, but like SNG for sure, for sure. Like uh, the, I have extra large hands, like th through and through extra large hands, fucking banana fingers. Um, and the SNG, the PT is tiny, tiny, tiny. That's a little bitty knife. Um, and I've owned a few PTs, three at least. Um, and it's, yeah, that finger trail is nice and very comfy, very roomy. Man, I can't fucking, I, like, the the native five is a fucking great knife, a fucking great knife. All right, let's see. Most pair of twos also. Well, so my man, I love knives. Uh, collected pair of twos. I I get it, man. I mean, the pair of two is fucking sexy, right? I mean, it has some sexy. It's like a Porsche, right? It, it it really is. I mean, it 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 is such a good looking knife. I mean, Sal crushed it out of the fucking park with this thing. Look at that with his logo on there or his his uh, signature or whatever you want to call it. Sal fucking crushed it with the PM2. I bought this knife at the Spiderco factory. Um, right, I mean, there's no question. Let's well just to, just to be, I guess it's not. We'll go non-clip side since I have a... Oh, you know what? No, shit. I got fucking... I got RGT clips on both these bad boys. Um, these are Rips Garage Techs uh, clips, by the way. And these are the just the stonewash titanium that are on here. This one is specifically... He calls it like a, a paramilitary 2 clip, but I put it on a couple different knives just for grins. And it's it fits on any of the three-screw clips. But uh, uh, 
It's definitely sexier than the native. I mean, it really is. And it's a, this the fucking that this is a ballsy thing to do, you know. I mean, people fucking like it. But for some reason, I don't know. Maybe I'm just a fucking minimalist kind of guy. I really don't know exactly what it is. But I, man, that this that it's so much more confidence inspiring of a feeling of a knife to me than my <clears throat> my PM2. I will say the fucking DLC is baller though. I mean, Jesus Christ, this this black. I mean, you can see, I don't know, like, yeah, you can see, like, it's, this thing's kind of worn down. It sees a lot of carrying use, or it has seen a lot of carrying use. Um, it's a fun knife. It's a super fun fucking knife. Um, that's for sure. Oh, shit. I'm getting behind again. Collect most of the Okay, do my PJ Live and Coast Grab. It's so... You know what, man? Uh, PJ Large and Cozy may be my next knife. If I can't do, if I can't find a fucking PJ Double Lug Sabenza, it's probably gonna be a PJ Large and Cozy. I have a PJ, or I have a Micarta Large and Cozy, and I, it's it. Like I say over and over, it is my fucking user knife. I use the like it lives in my man purse because. Whatever the fuck I have in my pocket, I will swap out. Like today I was uh, uh, doing closets for a lady. Um, again, I'm a carpenter, so uh, I was doing some closet systems, custom closet systems for a lady. And I mean, I, I roll up to the job. I fucking unveil crew my man purse and I fucking take out. Today it was uh, uh, my this guy. I mean... So yeah, today it was this knife. I, I literally like take this knife out of my pocket, put it in my man purse, take the fucking large and cozy out of my man purse, and go about my day. Um, so I fucking I, I yeah I love the large and cozy. It is such a goddamn good knife. Let's see. Uh, small grip. You know that's all I have. It's 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 just my it's like my statement to like how I actually feel like the the a lot of these companies their offerings are so goddamn all over the place where I'm just like I understand like your base model stuff or you know your more or less entry model stuff but the rest of it I'm just like I don't see the I, you know, I have plenty of four and five hundred dollar knives, plenty of them, and like, I, but I would almost—I don't think I'll ever buy a four or five hundred dollar bench made. Like, I just the value—I don't see it. Like, I—I yeah, I don't know. So yeah, I, I agree, Adamar. Kind of sky. Yeah, fuck, man. I'm glad you're saying that, man. The uh, I like candid stuff. My wife uh, does she, her. She has a lot of Instagram content. A lot of she's doing YouTube content now, and she edits every the fuck out of everything. And I'm like, I have like probably the least amount of like people interested in my channel, but I feel like the people that are interested in my channel are awesome, you know. So like, I, I'm like, they they they. You guys want me to say stupid things and say goofy things, and then, like occasionally I'll say something that like resonates. So like, out of my what is it, hour and nineteen fucking minutes right now, maybe I said one fucking useful thing, and like the 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 people that watch my goofiness fucking that, that it was for that, and so like, uh, yeah. Walter Williams said, MIA. What is that? An explanation for your redacting your comment? <laughs> Let's see. <clears throat> Dude, Sandnet, you're definitely going to like the knife. The, I mean, 
this is a really cool, simple, minimalist design. And when you actually see the thing in your hand, uh, it's it's very well assembled, very well put together. Like the machining is is spot on for what it is. There's only one hit that I would give it, and I don't. I think it's just my own nitpick. Whoa. Um, and that is that the these two screws screw into the aluminum over here. I've not disassembled this knife. I don't know anything about all that, but. For me, I'm not going to, this is not my one and only knife. So, I mean, I'm not going to just like go doing crazy shit with it. And I'm sure it'd be just fucking fine if I did. But that's literally the only nitpick that I can give it. And uh, I think that's pretty fucking minimal. So, whoa. So, I, yeah, I really, I really like the, the Launch 11. And it's a great size. It's like, let me see here. Let's do, let's do it next to a, a small Sabenza. Very comparable. Like, what is it? Probably right around or just under three inches. So, really good size knife. I mean, just just a great EDC size knife. And I think more and more the whole world is legalizing weed and fucking automatic knives, which is just what the good Lord intended. For God's sake. Strider-like, the native SNG-like. Oh yeah, SNG-like. Dude, it really is. The I think I surely I mentioned that on my first uh, um, SNG or uh, sorry. Uh, now I go uh, native review it, is that it's super similar to an SNG. I I I definitely know I mentioned that on my original paramilitary, not the paramilitary two, but um, I think I even did a. Uh, paramilitary 2 versus SMG video. Um, might have even been like a two or three part video. That was back when I was actually editing videos and putting fucking music to it and shit. Uh, Mark P, thanks, buddy. Since 2010. That's 10 fucking years of pure fucking magic. Thanks, man. That, that's That's really important. Thank you. <laughs> Crazy comments. <laughs> oh, man, what a guy. Thanks, Mark P. I appreciate that. <laughs> we don't always agree with each other. I love knives. Thank God. It's, it's really important to be able to just, like, Breathe that in as a fresh of breath there, you know, like to be able to be like, we can have our differences, you know, and that doesn't make anybody like, it doesn't even make somebody wrong. It just makes them looking at something from a different perspective, you know, like it's, it's a, that's a magical thing, man. I really appreciate you saying that. I love knives. Boy, like a whippersnapper. Is that a is that on bearings? Yeah, bearings are obviously uh, we're we're seeing now that bearing knives are. I mean, nobody gives a fuck about bearing knives. I mean, you have to make a, a bearing knife so sweet and so smooth for it to be worth a fuck. Uh, and and even then, like you get one grain of sand in a bearing knife, and it just it's all fucking crazy. You know, I mean, it's like. <laughs> So I, I I just can't believe that the bearings and the pivots of knives have even lasted this long. Clearly, a solid, not fucking with holes in it, Chris Reeve knives, a solid fucking phosphor bronze washer is the only way to go. And the fall shuddy fucking all this crap is horse shit. Unless you're willing to just go... Fall shuddy with variables. Fall shuddy with maintenance. Fall shuddy with my head up my ass, like I, or something like that. I, like I don't know exactly what, how, how to interpret the whole fucking fad of knives. And it's it's awesome that everything's growing as as fast as it is, as it is. But 
for 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 God's sakes, man. It's it's you know it's funny is people like fucking Uncle Archman here are part of the problem because people, well, not me. I have two, not even two thousand. At one point, I had five thousand subscribers. Believe it or not, back in the day, son. Now we're down to two. Or three. I think there's two or three. Maybe there's uh, there's actually 11 people watching right now. So we're up to 11, um, 10, now down to 10. Um, but, uh, yeah. Take this all with a grain of salt, boys and girls. Native 5 lightweight. Go fucking try. If, if you look, if you're like, I don't like a friend, uh, or I, I, don't like lockbacks, and I just really like what you know, like what I like. Do do yourself do yourself a favor, and uh, not just knives, but like ex do experiences that like outside of what not me like. Don't do it. Do something other than buying a native five <laughs> that is like. Uh, I don't know, outside of your fucking wheelhouse, outside of your uh, approved, self-approved desires from the standpoint of when you, li you know, lived in a cool house that you don't live in anymore. I don't know. I don't know exactly, or I'm from a fucking experience that you once had or whatever it is. Learn more, gain perspective. Don't fucking be stuck in perspective. Uh, and palabra to madre, boys and girls. Don't let your meatloaf. And I love fucking all of you guys, man. I really appreciate all the comments. I appreciate everything. So, you, so much. So much. Bye.